Hi, I'm Richard Blaze, and today we're making spaghetti and meatballs with bone marinara sauce, which is punny. So actually, like this dish came about from just the pun and the wordplay of the dish, but when you get down to it, the flavor of bone marrow, which a lot of people call God's butter, which is a pretty, like, that's an impressive title to hang on bone marrow. Like, wow, right? Like, now you have to use it. So adding bone marrow just gives it this little meaty flavor. Um, it's really soft, so it just adds a nice nuance to the tomato sauce. This recipe is something that we cook a lot in my house, so my daughters love spaghetti and meatballs. It's one of their favorite dishes, so I cook it a lot at home. I'm a native New Yorker, so like this is what we do on Sunday nights, right? You might call it Brooklyn gravy, I might call it bone marinara, but it's all the same thing. And the most important thing with spaghetti and meatballs is the meatballs, right? So they have to have a great texture, so it's all about that perfect ratio of meat to fat, whether that's pork fat or ricotta cheese, or bone marrow perhaps, uh, it's really the texture of the meatball that's the most important. So this is just classic comfort food, the stuff that you wanna eat, the stuff that you crave, delicious simple food. All right, so bone marrow, you can just ask your butcher for some, or sometimes it's called soup bones. Uh, and then what do you do when you actually get the bone marrow is you have to scrape the marrow from the bone. So you can do that two ways. You can pop it in a hot oven for just a couple of minutes and then you pull it out of the oven and pop it right out of the bone, or you can just get a paring knife or a spoon and sort of scoop the marrow out as well. Bone marrow meet tomato. Tomato meet bone marrow. You said to introduce it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a dad. Just so everyone knows, I'm a dad. Bone marrow just sort of melts as the meatballs cooking. I love the camaraderie of a kitchen. That's what inspired me to cook professionally. I always played sports and just hanging out and being on a team, and that's really what cooking's all about, whether you're doing it at home with your family or uh, professionally in a kitchen. The energy of a busy restaurant is unparalleled. But when you're cooking at home, just for a few people, there's just something really special about that. We cook because we just want to make people happy. And what better place to start than doing that with your family and friends?